You can speak the truth all day long. They can't hear you. Oh. Yeah. Yo, what's going on with y'all? How y'all doing? Um, Hopefully everybody is starting their week off on the right note. Um, Praying that everybody, you know, if it's on, if it's on the, if it's on the up and up, keep it on the up and up. If it's uh, on some bullshit, just know that uh, things will get better soon, right? That's how it always goes. I'm feeling a lot better this week, personally. Reporting on a um, on a story that I just thought was crazy. The amount of coverage that it got, I understand why it did. And um, now I think a lot of people uh, want answers. Uh, to some things, uh, given that, you know, this did make national news. Let me just back up real quick. This is uh, Carly Russell over here. Uh, this lady right here. Oh, man, y'all probably can't see my mouse. All right, the one with the black on. That's Carly Russell. Uh, she um, reported a baby walking along the side of the highway, uh, I want to say, about a week and some change ago. Um, had people, uh, all over the internet reaching out because after she reported the baby missing, she was, uh, her phone was still live. And then, uh, the call did not drop, but she lost contact and, um, you know, people feared the worst. They didn't know if she had been abducted and was go and was going into sex trafficking, uh, for about two days, the whole nation's eyes were glued to this story. Um, uh, climb climaxing where i believe it was about two days later uh carly russell goes back to her house uh where she's uh where she meets back with her parents and at which point she tells them uh she was abducted by a white man put her in the back of a pick a back of a truck and fed her cheetos and candy for two days or something like that uh it just was a story that didn't make sense, if you ask me personally. Now, at the time of my first video, if you do remember, if anybody did, did take a look at it, uh, you know, I wish for her to get back home safely, but the story just didn't make sense. There was no baby reported missing at the time. Um, her phone was found. It didn't drop the call or anything. So, you know, they, they, they were able to find her. They found her wig uh, and some other things. Long story short. It just was a it just was a big, confusing uh, story, you know. Now, Carly has since been back home. Um, this is a 25 year old woman that uh, I don't believe has spoken to anybody yet besides uh investigators and her parents she's a 25 year old woman um i don't know i think she just needed some attention man she just wanted she she needs something she needs some help or something uh because this is you know and that uh more facts have come out now that nothing happened but let's get into it this was her boyfriend that um, I believe that shortly after uh, what happened or, you know, the facts came out, he broke up with her. And, uh, you know, this in the oh, what, probably can't see too well. I'll read it. Uh, Carly's actions created hurt, confusion and dishonesty. I was made aware of the false narrative after coming to the defense of my ex Carly Russell. Myself and my family's nature was to react in love and genuine concern. We are disgusted from the outcome of this entire situation. I strongly feel exactly like you all blindsided with Carly's actions. This is still an ongoing investigation, but with all of the recent information and her confession, now we get Gain closure with this situation thank you to and then he goes on to thank everybody i mean he just don't he it's not like he disgusted with her he's trying to be as respectful as he can but he's like listen you know you lied you had people you know emotionally involved um you know just for it to be nothing and the fact that she played that little race card, you know, where, oh, a white guy abducted me. It just almost reminds me of, you know, Jussie Smollett or Juicy Smolye or <laughs> or um, uh, Bubba Wallace or, 
You know, there, 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 there were a couple of other stories where black people were just saying, oh, white people are doing all of this to me, that to me. And then it comes out that they were either doing it, setting it up themselves or it was done to them by black people. I remember there was even a barber shop uh, in Atlanta where, you know, a guy pulls TVs off his wall, former NFL player, pulls TVs off the walls, paints some swastikas, says, uh, you know, white people did it to him. Come to find out underneath the tarp in his pickup is the TVs with the drywall and everything still attached to the brackets in the back of it, you know, and um, spray paint. So, I mean, you know, it's just making these stories, you know, and it's just making it less credible when somebody is crying out. Now, the next time, you know, somebody's worried about a sex trafficking, human trafficking thing, people might not take it as seriously, you know, just because this girl wanted a little bit of attention. And her parents is just as <coughs> just as guilty because I was going back and I remember seeing this interview. Right. And they're going to ask. Let's get into it. Ooh, her up, All right. They're going to ask if they believe Carly had to fight or was fighting or something like that. And the mom is like, yes, watch the dad closely. Watch his head during that question. All right. Let's check it. Do you believe that there's an abductor still out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. NBC News. Yeah, saw it. That was it. That was the question. Sorry. Who her abductor? Do you believe that there's an abductor still Look at out the dad. There? Absolutely. Absolutely. He know, he know damn well ain't nothing. NBC News has reached out to the Hoover Police Department to ask I'm whether sorry if the volume's kind of low. Involved. Police have just said they're following up on all information provided by Carly. And when I talked to you all on Saturday, you also said your daughter is a fighter and she would find a way back. Look at the dad. I felt that in my heart. Is that what happened? She did. She found her way back to us. However, we can't discuss the details of that. But they say. Of course, they can't discuss his details. All right. I wanted you to see the. This was the one with the dad. Doctor. It was him shaking you his head. Do believe that there's an abductor still out there? Absolutely. No, nah, man. He know, he, know, he know his daughter was full of shit. He know his wife's full of shit. And, you know, they know that. And they're supposed to, supposedly um, prominent people in their uh, area. They know that they embarrassed as hell right now. They trying their best that they can to save as much face as they can. But they can't. They can't. Uh, the story, Carly, girl, damn you stupid. Damn you stupid. You took robes from your job. Like, you, 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 there's footage of her going and, and, and buying candy. I mean, I don't know. I just, you know, I just wanted to wrap up this last stupid story. Now, this is the best part, and this is what I believe, and this is what really I want to come with it. I hope that they press charges. I hope that, you know, and I hope that everyone involved that they press charges on, whether it's uh, obstruction, whether it's falsifying a report. You know, I hope that there's some sort of uh, repercussion because then, you know, people are just going to keep on doing this crap. Let's check it out. And by the way, this uh, police chief is one of the Most flamboyantly dressed police chiefs I've seen in a while, yo. This is some shit you'll only see down south, yo. Real shit. Let's get into it. To make the following statement on her behalf. Okay, this is the statement that Carly Russell made to her attorney. He's reading it, all right, right now. Let me just back up two seconds so y'all can hear it. To make the following statement on her behalf. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th. 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. Wow. No baby. No. Uh, nothing happened to her. There was no kidnapper. And once she found out that she was reported a missing person, quote unquote, dude, at least leave for a little bit. You gonna just go right back home and think that nobody gonna ask a question, bro? My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. 
I would like to know a whole timeline of where she was and what happened. Since she wanted to do all of this crap and make it, make this big, uh, involve the police now and all that. And now you involved, I believe the FBI and all that's involved. I want to know what she was doing. I want to know where she was, who she was with. And if they're all, you know, having a role to play in it, everybody needs to get something. The volunteers who were searching for her to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this. Nah, she wasn't a mistake. That was not a mistake. She out there doing some crazy shit, crying for attention. You do you a bozo, all right? Because now people going to take it a little less serious next time they hear something like this, you know? And but believe all women protect all black women black women the most underserved under under uh protected women in the world all right anyway um yeah let's hear what they say on possible charges with the jefferson county district attorney's office in bessemer about possible criminal charges related to this case and we will announce those charges when and if they are filed when he said that when hard We're investigates are the parents under any, any yeah the parents need to be in the investigation too because that mom was on tv lying knowing damn well what, what it was but at that point but that interview she had already spoken to carly investigation. you know as i said the other day uh we were going to try to determine exactly those 49 hours so right now you know and anything's on the table we're we, we still don't know what happened in those 49 hours where she was, did she have any help? We have no idea. You know, I read the statement from Mr. Anthony. Yeah, well, they need to find out what happened. All right? They need to use some sort of credit cards. You know, if she used all cash, I mean, there needs to be some something. Somebody had to have seen her in that time. Her face was everywhere. That's all we know. Unless, unless somebody else checked into the room. Interview uh, Carly like we've wanted to since uh, since she returned. Chief Stephen Quinn, ABC 3340. Yes, sir. Your reaction now, knowing that Carly has admitted that this was made up. Well, I'm, I'm glad that we got this. You know, we uh, we certainly laid the facts out uh, to the to the to the you know, to, to you guys and and to the national uh, media that had a lot of interest in this particular case. Uh, uh, yeah. The, the yeah. It was a hoax. She played everybody who was uh, legitimately um praying for her and emotionally uh you know invested in this story but um you know it just turned out to be a nothing burger gladly and at the very least nothing happened to her and you know she is safe and uh you know but yeah uh as far as me um she needs some sort of uh she needs some sort of penalty for uh falsifying a report lying to people getting as much manpower involved you know uh there were multiple um uh offices police offices police municipal i don't know whatever you want to call it there were multiple police uh units or whatever you call it working together and um yeah that's taxpayer money that could have been going somewhere else i i don't even want to think about whatever could have been happening that night or those times when, you know, p police are putting all their resources one place and it needs to be put completely somewhere else where it's really needed. But, um, yeah, I really ain't got too much to say on it. I just wanted to cover it one, one last time, give a final wrap up on this story before I, I punt it out of here. And, um, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think, uh, I mean, all the facts are out now. Y'all think that, hey, she just, you know, get her some mental help and, you know, maybe going after something criminal is not the smartest thing maybe you know we need to deal with and handle her in a different sort of way uh i mean this is a 25 year old grown woman you know uh or do you think she just stupid as hell like shorty you dumb as hell like just go to think about the next time somebody reads a story about something similar how much is just going to be scoffed at, you know? And uh, I don't know. She's stupid.
I hope that they get her whatever help she needs. But I do think her and whoever else was involved, whether it's the parents or whatever, need to uh, be brought, brought up on charges and um, convicted because this this did, just didn't make any sense. But uh, either way, yo, y'all let me know what y'all think on the story. And um, yeah, it's the next one. I'm out.